Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. DRDO is at present developing three surface to air launched anti radiation missiles which are Rudra M1, Rudra M2 and Rudra M3 also called as Rudram 1, 2 and 3. We have already made a detailed video on Rudra family of missiles. However, lot has changed and we have observed the same in the specifications of the missiles based on the various standards released by DRDO regarding which we will be discussing in detail. To start with, let's talk about Rudra M1. Rudra M1, also known as New Generation anti radiation Missile NGARM, is being developed for SEED missions or Suppression of Enemy Air Defenses mission that can be launched from a range or altitudes with large standoff distances. It will be used against the targets emitting radio frequency such as ground-based radars, communication system or surface-to-air missile defense systems. The missile can be launched from an altitude of 15 km to 500 meters and will have maximum operational range of 200 to 250 km. It has been integrated with Su-30 MKI as its primary test platform Although it can be used with Dassault Mirage 2000, Seepcat Jaguar, HAL Tejas and HAL Tejas Mark II in future. Rudram 1 weighs close to 600 kg with warhead of 60 kg and has a length of 5.5 meters. The missile also uses a dual pulse rocket motor with thrust vectoring. The maximum speed of missile is Mach 2. It uses GPS Navic satellite guidance along with inertial navigation for mid-course guidance. For guidance in terminal phase, it has millimeter wave seeker and passive homing seeker which will home to the RF signal generated by the radar. It will have a circular error probability of 5 meters. The missile has capability to fire in lock on before launch and lock on after launch mode. The missile was successfully test fired from integrated test range Balasore on 9th October 2020 from a Su-30 MKI. If we talk about its development, it's in the last stage and we could see one more trial before it goes into serial production which is expected by this year. Talking about Rudram 2, much of the details about the missile is not revealed. Rudram 2 is going to be second family of Rudra missiles of anti-radiation. The missile looks more like a derivative from second stage of AD-1. It will be air to surface missile with a weight around 700 kg, warhead of 200 kg and range between 250 to 350 km. The missile will use GPS or Navic satellite guidance along with initial navigation for mid-course guidance and will also use IIR seeker for terminal guidance. Rudram 2 and Rudram 3 will feature laser altimeter which will improve the accuracy of missile and are resistant to jamming. The missile will be capable of penetrating through the soil up to 1 meter and reinforced concrete to 0.6 meters. The Su-30 MKI is undergoing modification for carriage and release trials of Rudram 2. DRDO is also working on an offset version of Rudram 2 called Rudram 2A which is under development for Indian Navy with additional sea skimming features and enhanced sensors to locate moving targets in the sea. The missile will carry different warhead seeker and is intended for different role altogether. However, no specific information is available regarding this. It's being speculated that it could be naval version of Rudram 2 missile. Now, talking about Rudram 3, recently an interesting tender was released by DRDO, which reveals completely new design of the missile than what we have seen before. However, the design looks similar to a missile which was shown during Vice President's visit to inaugurate DRDO's weapon facility on 26 January 2021. The control surfaces of the yellow color missile looks very similar to the design of Rudram 3 released by DRDO in the recent tender document. Rudram 3 is going to be two-stage missile similar to Russian Kinzhal. The first stage seems to be a booster stage and second stage a dual pulsed motor. It will have a length of 6 meter and diameter of 279.5 meters. The missile will weigh close to 600 to 700 kg with a warhead of 200 kg. The new image of Rudram 3 
is as per the new tenant document reveals the addition of a number of control surfaces which means that the missile is going to be highly maneuverable in total the missile will have 16 control surfaces eight in mid section or second stage and eight in tail end of the missile or the first stage the wings in the mid section of the missile will aid to achieve the hypersonic mach number below fixed wings the missile also has control wings to add further to its maneuverability the missile will use gps or navic satellite guidance along with inertial navigation for mid course guidance with a circular error probability of 4 meters The missile will follow quasi ballistic trajectory and will hit target with hypersonic velocity. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.